Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and today we're back on Assetto Corsa. Um, I'm just looking at random tracks in random cars, cars that I've... Um, some car, like this one, the Praga R1, I've not heard of, or I might have heard of it. Um, this is only my second time on Assetto Corsa, so I'm still not confident. Uh, also, I didn't realise this was Maggiore, was this track. Um, this is the one I did in the last video in the Salva C9. Um, so I should have had more confidence around here, but I was a bit more wary of the car. Um, so I'm just looking at random tracks, random cars, just to get a bit more of a feel for Assetto Corsa, because I would like to do more of it, and I'd like to get into it properly. It's just I need time getting comfortable. I did have a session on it while the video was uploading on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. Uh, it might have been Tuesday. One of the days when a video was uploading earlier this week. Um, bearing in mind this is the 8th and I don't know when this will be uh, when this will be uh, scheduled to the public. Um, so yeah, I did have a little go and I was doing Imola. I know I did Imola. I went back to Imola in the Z4 GT3 car, and that felt really good. Um, that really did feel good. Imola in the GT GT3 Z4 BMW Z4 GT3. That was a good, good combination. Um, I also looked at it in. I know I tried it in. Ford GC40 and that didn't feel good um, and I, I know I used other cars it might have been the Sauer C9 because I used that quite a lot um, this is the other Italian track I hadn't heard of uh, the full layout in the Lamborghini GC3 car I had done a couple of laps in the C7 Corvette GC3 but that didn't feel great. It didn't feel as good as the other GT cars. This felt good in the GT3 Lamborghini. Um, Huracan. Huracan GT3 this one was. Because uh, I did look at the Super Trofeo as well. Um, but I thought I'd save the GT3 cars just to keep it consistent so I could see what they were like. Um, yeah, there was another track I looked at the other day. It might be... I know I didn't just do Imola in... I didn't just do Imola and I used another car from Z4 but I can't remember what it was. Um, yeah. So... This track is rather interesting against another technical one like Bernal I did on Project Cars. Um, and I was just, I'd also got more used to the braking line at this point. And since the last video, I know I have mucked around with the steering settings more. Um, I can't remember exactly what I did. I was going to show it um, what I changed it to, but I can't remember. I know I looked at a guide to make it feel better. Um, to make it feel better on controller, and that really didn't... I didn't like that at all. So now we're swapping to the Lotus 720 around Silverstone 67. Um, I'm not sure what year this 720 is from. Um, immediately I hit a tyre wall and a physical wall. And then uh, this was not the optimum line through this corner. Um, but I sort of spun out. So we had a little look at the bridge. And I think the rear wheel just caught that brick wall. Which would absolutely ruin the car if I'd have damage on. Um, because I'm practicing against no one. Just having a look at, look at tracks and cars, I thought I'm not going to do damage to your entire work and stuff. Because I know the times that I'm setting on competitive, I was just having a look at the. Um, having a look at the tracks and the cars that I've not seen before. Um, so I, I quite like this one, Silverstone 67. And this F1 car felt really good. Uh, the race cars in this game definitely feel really fun to drive. I really enjoy the race cars. The road cars I've driven not so much. I've driven the 
LaFerrari. I drove a Ferrari F40. I drove a I drove the Ford GT. Um, and they did not feel nice to drive really. But the race cars generally feel pretty good. Um, it's weird how there's those walls around. I don't know if that, that was really like that, was it? With the little walls around the inside of the corner. Um, I've never seen footage from Silverstone in that era. Yeah, and I, I don't even know what year this Lotus is from, to, but it didn't say in the little preview. Uh, I still hadn't figured out this corner, I still thought I could take it flat. Um, but it didn't go as badly as last time, I didn't go around the bridge. Um, but still, I really like this track, really like the car. And yeah, it's a shame other games, uh, when I say other games, just mostly pointing at fours I don't include classic tracks like this, I'd love to see all sorts of classic tracks again, another classic one, the classic Monza. This Alpha felt better than any of the other road cars I drove, um, but yeah, it, I spun it out on the banking and I spun it out on a couple of other corners. Um, what I didn't realise is that you come out of the pits and you have to do one and a half laps before it registers your next lap. Um, Curva Grande you cannot take flat, I tried as best as I could, but the Ascari chicane's not there, so that I actually took pretty much flat. I think I had a little dip of the throttle, because it went that sort of yellowy colour you see there, and again these curves, the car didn't like that, but then again the other car I used didn't, which was the Mazda 787B. I thought, what's the worst that can happen taking a car from the early 90s to a track from the 60s designed for 60s cars and um, yeah th this was a lot more fun than I thought I've tried to cut it down to what, what sort of lap time so I think it's starting about one minute and three seconds um, to try and get an idea Curva Grande is not flat in 787B um, which I think it is in Forza but I guess that's because it has tuning on and a bit of upgrades. Whereas this is a stock 787B because I don't know what I'm doing with tuning. Um, then the Lesmos, they're pretty much the same, but there's no chicanes, there's no first or second chicanes. Um, this is like the optimum layout for Forza. That's not the optimum racing line to bite load of that concrete. Uh, that would probably wreck this car if I had damage on. Uh, that's going under the oval bit. This was flat in 787B, although I did dip the throttle at one point. Um, so we're about a minute into the lap here. And down to Parabolica. Um, I'm never sure how you say that thing that corner. I'm running it really wide there. I had to hit the brakes for a second time. And getting a bit squirmy coming out of that corner. Um, yeah, that was the first time I had a real squirm like that in either the Salvador C9 or the Simex MB. And then now onto this uh, banking, which as you saw in the Alpha was rather bumpy. This, uh, I can't imagine suspension would last looking at this. Um, that would absolutely destroy your spine. Like there's some bumps I go over in my road car, which are one series BMW, and sometimes you think, oh, that's a bit of jolt to the spine. I could not imagine doing that in 787B. You have to go to uh, a lot of uh, physiotherapy, I imagine, and maybe some mental therapy as well while you're there. Um, these banking bits were flat in 787B, and that was, that was really fun to do. So I'd make that about two minutes, two minutes twenty. Then I tried Zanvort in a Ferrari GT2 car. I've never liked Zanvort. Um, it's the track that we had to do on the race sim at uni. Um, it's a proper F1 sim we've got at uni. Um, 
we had to do Zanvort in a Renault Clio and it was the first time I've ever done Zanvort and I really didn't like it um, and I still don't like Zanvort so this is an awful lap um, also this car didn't feel as nice as the GT3 cars um, which is a shame but then it might be Zanvort it's just a track I don't like the other thing I thought when doing Zanvort it seems very similar to Sakuba um, the track in GT Sport and it was in some earlier Forza games Japanese track, really short one I thought the opening sector seemed a hell of a lot like Sakuba um, like it's almost carbon copy I'd say until you get like you do the first corner and then you do that little chicane and then that hairpin's not as tight um, yeah even though I've done Zanvort on that sim um, I still don't know it well and yeah this wasn't really worth showing but um, yeah Zanvort is a track I won't go back to probably um, yeah I completely forgot that little bit existed I should have been looking at the track map but, so um, maybe that's a quicker line but it's definitely a 39 so I don't really have much more to say for this video but um, I'm really enjoying or ge generally enjoying Sesso Corsa from what I've played from it I'd like to do more on the channel um, maybe career, maybe just mucking about random car, random track sort of thing but I chucked in a little 360 and then uh, that's it, so I'm going to leave it there Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.